Now, how do you stop itching after a shower? Or have you ever felt that you were itching all over after a shower? Now, don't you all enjoy a shower to keep yourself clean, especially after a walk under the hot sun? But do you find that you have itchy skin after a shower, which then can be anything but refreshing? In fact, it is frustrating. Because you will be spending time scratching yourself, and at the same time, avoid scratches that may leave a mark on your skin. Now, what causes the itching is dry skin after taking a shower. The water from the shower, which may feel very comfortable, is washing away the skin's natural oils. This then leads to dryness and itching. A simple solution would be to apply a lotion or a moisturizer, but does it always work? Sometimes dry, sensitive skin needs additional care to reduce the irritation and dryness that causes the itch. If you find that you have skin peeling or develop rashes, it may be pointing to a condition that needs further treatment. If you visit any doctor or skin specialist, you will normally be indicated that dry skin is a common cause of itchiness after a shower. That does come as a sort of relief when you hear it, but then you wonder, how does my skin become dry, and if so, why does it itch? Well, the reason is that dry skin does not have enough moisture and may feel tight or itchy, and this happens especially after a shower. When you wash yourself with soap, example, soap or shower liquid and water, you can remove the skin's natural oils that keep it supple and prevent dryness. In extreme cases, the skin may even crack or bleed, which can be very painful. The best way to prevent itchy skin after taking a shower is to apply moisturizer immediately after toweling off. Use a heavy moisturizer such as a cream, an oil, or an ointment while the skin is still slightly damped and it can seal moisture into your skin. Now, people with dry or very sensitive skin should read the product labels before using a moisturizer. This is because some products can make itching worse, as they contain ingredients that are irritating or cause allergic reactions. Avoid products that contain fragrance, menthol, and alcohol, as this can cause further dryness, irritation, and itching. Else, you could use a special gentle skin cleanser that is not drying and keeps the skin hydrated. The gentle foaming, non-irritating formula is specially formulated for pimple-prone, oily, and combination skin. It removes oil, dirt, and makeup without making the skin tight or overly dry. Apply the cleanser to the wet skin and work it into a leather. Gently massage onto the face, avoiding the eye area. Now, if you have eczema, which refers to an inflammation of the skin that can lead to itching and excessive dryness, that is a chronic condition that can give you a red rash or bumps on the skin, please do see a doctor or a pharmacist for medication which could help cure the condition. Now, what do you do to help yourself treat those dry and itchy skin. Well, if you notice that you itch a lot after a shower, the following may help. Keep the shower as short and as cool as possible and avoid very hot water. Avoid showering more than once a day. Do not scratch the skin. Avoid using washcloths, scrubs, or harsh sponges. Use fragrance-free moisturizing cleansers or soaps. Gently pat the skin dry and don't rub hard on it. Apply a heavy, fragrance-free moisturizer or an ointment. And do not apply large amounts of soap or cleansers for leather and avoid fragrances in laundry detergents and spreadwick softener. These ingredients may get onto your towels and clothing and cause itching after a shower. So most of this uh, post-shower itching can be cured or well relieved by using moisturizers, lotions, and other home remedies. However, if the pitching
persists after trying these remedies, a person may wish to see the health care provider or the family doctor to avoid more serious conditions.